Get three months of local news for just 99 cents a month. You'll get unlimited access to the news you need to stay engaged and connected to your community. Visit Inforum.com slash subscribe now to get three months of local news for only 99 cents a month. Penny Andrist of Penny and Pals has retired after more than 30 years as a children's entertainer. She left her mark on my kids and so many more. Hi, this is Tracy Briggs and welcome to Back Then. Well, it wasn't my proudest parent moment, something all of the child rearing books said not to do. I plopped my toddler in front of the TV. In my defense, it wasn't all day, every day, and she wasn't watching Pulp Fiction or Scarface. It was one weekend in January of 2004, and it was Zoe's Dance Moves, starring Sesame Street's Elmo and dancer Paul Abdul. I played that dang DVD on a nearly continual loop as we attempted to pack up our house for a move across town. I was eight months pregnant, and I had a toddler underfoot, so it was complicated. So, plop my child in the exercise I did, right in front of that DVD. It bought me some much-needed toddler-free time to pack boxes and waddle out to the U-Haul. Two-year-old Laura seemed none the worse for wear as she bopped along to the music with Zoe, Elmo, and Paula. Perhaps it's not surprising that she went on to become a pretty good dancer later in her childhood. Laura is now 21, and that baby with whom I was pregnant, Jordan, is 19. And to this day, when I see Elmo, Zoe, and even Paul Abdul, I smile at their role in my child rearing that weekend. And if I smile at that trio for their help with my kids that one weekend, how can I even begin to thank another entertainer for her role throughout their entire childhood? Penny Andrist of Penny and Pals is a singing, dancing, smart, and silly force of nature. A children's entertainer who's cracked the code for getting kids to learn something without them even realizing it. Just last week, Penny put on her last Penny and Pals show here in Fargo. After 33 years of performing and traveling through the region, she is retiring. I'm among the many who will wish her well and... I feel the need to share the reasons why she'll be so missed. I first met Penny when her show was called Kids Collectibles. I was a single, childless reporter for WDAY-TV, but as I covered her performances at Yunker Farm or the old Trollwood Park in Fargo, even I could see the magic of Penny as she and her co-host Gail Benson used characters like Allie Alligator and Bernie the Bear to teach kids about letters. Well, fast forward a few years, and I remember being very pregnant and interviewing Penny and Gail for an upcoming show. I don't even remember much about that news story, why I was interviewing them, but I do remember Penny telling me she hoped I'd bring my new baby to some of her shows. I did, and I brought her sister too. In fact, for many years, Laura and Jordan became Penny fans. We owned her CDs and DVD. They even had a little autographed poster of Penny and Pals in their bedroom. So imagine the thrill when Penny surprised Jordan on her second birthday. A brush with greatness right there at the Happy Joe's. There's a photo in my story on inform.com where Penny is right next to Jordan and Jordan is looking kind of like, oh my gosh, hey guys, look who came to my party. I might be biased, but I think it's a pretty cute picture. Anyway, at fairs, festivals, in our own living room, we sang and danced along to Rock and Robot, Picky Nicky, and the Copycat Rap. To this day, we still find ourselves quoting Pig Parade when we just happen to be eating certain foods that start with P. Well, we'll have popcorn, peanuts, pretzels, and a piece of pumpkin pie. If we get a stomachache, who cares? Not I. Words to live by, really. While Penny and Pals might have started as a way to teach kids about letters, it evolved into life lessons about self-esteem, kindness, and attitude. To this day, when I'm in a bad mood, I think about Penny singing, You Get to Choose Your Mood. Frankly, it's hard to be in a bad mood around Penny. A couple of years ago, she had the wild idea that we should try and reenact the Tom Hanks, Robert Loggia piano scene from Big for the form's lifestyle segment, The Scoop. Well, it was a It was a hoot. I had so much fun with her. And after hours of practice, full of sweat and laughter, I realized what it must have been like to be one of the kids taking part in her workshops and classes. 
If she was as patient with them as she was with my old, uncoordinated self, it's no wonder Penny is a rock star to little ones. Through the years, I always found it a little bit puzzling that Penny and Pals didn't become a huge act around the country. My kids were also fans of the Australian kids group, The Wiggles. And we used to remark that Penny's songs were just as entertaining as theirs. She should have been a global superstar, too. But it's all the better for those of us in the Dakotas and Minnesota who've basically had a monopoly on Penny for 33 years. Now it's time for her to have some time to herself on summer weekends. She deserves it. But that doesn't mean we won't feel her absence. The stages of our local parks and schools might just be a little too quiet now. But as she's recommended for years, we get to choose our mood. So, today... I'm sad for kids and their parents who won't get to rock out to Penny the way we did. But I'm so grateful we were all pals. And that is back then. I hope you join me next time. If you're loving this podcast, be sure to check out our full lineup. From news and local politics to sports and true crime, find your next great listen right now at inforum.com slash podcasts. That's inforum.com slash podcasts.